I thought as it's weekend, I'd do a little mini video to share. And I was racking my brains thinking what to do. We've done coats, we've done clothes. And Christmas is coming and I thought maybe doing accessories, mainly sunglasses and scarves. I know they're both completely different seasons, but they make really nice Christmas presents um, if you still stuck. Um, and I just think you wear sunglasses all year, even in the car in the winter, there's always bright, sunny, lovely days. And they're just a fashion statement and everybody can usually afford a pair of nice sunglasses. They're not, you know, you get a Dior bag, five grand, Dior pair of sunglasses, 300. So if you want to make an outfit look a bit more stylish, um, cheap outfit, just get a few really nice scarves, a few really nice pairs of sunglasses, then you can completely update, make your outfit look a bit classier. So I thought I'd go through all my sunglasses. Now there's a pair over there, which I've just realized I'm gonna have to go and get. There's my, my mini fan. Uh, you can tell these were from the summer. Um, okay, let's go through the last pair. Oh no, this isn't the last pair. These are one of my most favorite. Now you're going to laugh, but they're Dolce & Gabbana. Every time we go on holiday and we go to an airport anywhere and we see sunglasses, Bruno wants a pair. He buys Oakleys, you know, 100 quid. I don't need a pair, I find a pair. Oh, mine are the most expensive in the shop. And he goes, Wow, this is ridiculous. Why can't I find an expensive pair? Anyway, these ones we actually found when we were in Spain in a boutique. Look at these. <laughs> if any of you follow me on Instagram or anything, you've probably seen them. Oh, I blurred again. In the summer, I absolutely love them. They are funky, round, multicolored, but predominantly they've got the gold, and I like gold now. I just think, so hair up, they look lovely, hair down, I've got these, I've got one of those faces that looks, I always think looks better in a photo and looks better covered <laughs> because I've got such a round face, I think most sunglasses suit me, it's really weird, that's what he doesn't like because everywhere we go there's a pair of sunglasses, they suit me, they're the most expensive ones, any of them suit me. So. I just think it covers up so much of my face. Right, I'm sticking to my box now. This cardigan is getting on my nails. So they're the Dolce & Gabbana. They are probably on the pricier side, I don't know. They seem to be very, sort of like, hard to find. So they're probably one-offs or 500, I don't know. I don't know how these things work. You can probably find them. The last pair we got, this is when we went to Jamaica. This year, February, February the 28th, just before COVID and I really wanted the bag, I really wanted the ring, and I got the sunglasses. <laughs> so they're Bulgari, they've got the snake thing there, their, their iconic snake pattern, the gold, rose gold, are they rose gold? Oh, see, they're gold. In fact, that edge, see you go, hair up, <laughs> hair down. That one needs tightening, I think. We've got a little screwdriver, we bought the little kit. But they're lovely, aren't they? And these aren't that pricey. I don't think they were. Really fab present for the girls in your life. We should get Bruno to do a men's. You should see the amount of sunglasses he got. Mainly, predominantly black sunglasses. <laughs> All the same. Now these ones, uh, these are the... Oh, Christian Dior. They're not Christian Dior. Well, they are. I didn't know I had a pair of Dior. These are the ones I wanted for ages. Couldn't get them and then got them and then hardly wore them. They're gold. And they're the half shaded, but you can see out of the whole thing, that doesn't get in your eyesight, if you know what I mean. They're really nice. Obviously, most of these are quite fashionable. They don't have, probably, don't have the polarized lens that Bruno likes, so they're probably not as clear as those polarized Oakleys that are, you know, really cool, but I didn't go for that. <laughs> as long as they're protecting my eyes, and they're not naff lenses. I like them to look at them. These are Michael Kors. Ready? I don't wear silver anymore. Michael Kors. But I like them because of the little bits that were... Is it Diamantes? Yeah, little Diamantes. I wish I had a gold pair. But the little Diamantes. Hair up. I'm showing you, like, holiday 
<laughs> Such an idiot. That isn't what I walk around on holiday like. <laughs> the roots are bad, I can't wait to get them done. But they're nice, aren't they? They're Chris and Dior. They weren't expensive or anything. I'm gonna have to go over there and get the other ones. Just wait one minute and I'll, oh, I'll find them. Don't wanna knock the camera. Here we go. Let's go in this way. There we go, that's attractive. <laughs> Right, what pair was this that I've got in my bag? Ah, oh, I bought these. Where did I buy these? A year or so ago. They are the Gucci. The Gucci's. The Gucci's with the blue and sparkles. And In fact, when I had darker hair, I think they look better. Um, but they're quite cool at this time of the year because I think gold you wear in the summer, gold jewellery maybe, Christmas, but going out in the winter sun with a hat on, I think these these are quite cool and these are affordable, everybody can afford these. So I think that if I got these, oh for goodness sake, stick into to me again. If I got these in my Christmas stocking, a daughter or a girlfriend, stocking filler, if, if you could afford to have it as a stocking filler, I'd be chuffed. I think that most people would suit those. Just think they're the sparkly, the Gucci. So that's that pair, but they're, I keep them in their boxes in the box, but in my handbag, I've got these really naff cases, but they're small, so you can get everything in your handbag in them without them being damaged. What's this pair? Oh, I'm in love with these, but I get teased about these. You ready? Another round pair. They're Versace. You can see, but our friend, Richard, says I look like, um, Willy Wonka in the new Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> he calls me Willy Wonka every time we see him. I think they're so different. They're silver with a mirror on though. I don't wear much silver, but they are really, really cool. Look, my round face, round sunglasses, <laughs> round face. Uh, I don't know whether that's supposed to be a compliment. Round sunglasses suit a round face. They're probably not. I think they look okay. I like them but they're probably a bit more pricey, but I think if you're getting a present for anybody, obviously you've got to be careful on their face shape with sunglasses, but like the Gucci ones are quite all-rounder, although they do some nice cat's eye ones now, which are lovely, which I like, but we haven't been on holiday this year. There's any time we ever go to a sunglasses hut. Now, what are these ones? I can't remember, they might be Versace. I'm not sure. Goodness, they haven't got it written on. They're gold, they're kind of more wrap around. They're really comfortable. The box has got Versace on, but I sometimes don't put them in the correct box. But um, they've got a lot of detailing. Let's just check one more time. The little sparkles. Nothing, oh. Versace, it does say. So is it really, really, really small here? It's probably somewhere like John Lewis would sell these. But they're, they're an all round pair as well, I think. If you put them in someone's Christmas stocking, they would suit, I can imagine, most people. <laughs> hair test. So, that's another pair. Goodness me, I didn't know how two pairs would get. Uh, oh, that's an empty box. That's the pair that's probably in there. This is Dior. Ah, I don't wear these anymore very much. I really should sell a few pairs. These are Dior. They've got navy, but they're silver. They're actually a really nice shape. Really nice shape. They've got, they've got a navy end and then some little diamonds on the side. If you had your deal bag, <laughs> which I don't, they'd be a nice. <laughs> I think they're, they're a reasonable, nice shape. Most people like silver. I think another good present, nice normal shape. I think most people would be happy to get those. They're not expensive, those ones. I always think not expensive. I think 150 quid for a pair of sunglasses isn't pricey, but it's when you're looking at the 500. And, ah. So this pair, oh, there's a long story behind this. When we were in Vegas on my 40th, um, I really wanted the Cartier Love Bangle that I've got now. But when we found it in Vegas, obviously, because it's French and it's imported to America, they slap on, a, you know, a 
more money, it, it costs them to import it, so you pay this massive tax, about £300 tax at the time on it, um, which we weren't really prepared to pay that extra. And secondly, if you got stuck at customs on the way home with it, and pr you've bought it there, they'll find it on your records, you then get to pay tax on it, import tax, even though it's come from here originally. So it wasn't worth it because we could have been slapped with another 600 whatever pounds on it, which is pointless, so we didn't buy it. And I was a bit sulky, which is really spoiled and awful, and I shouldn't have been. But we were in our hotel in the Bellagio, and there was a sunglasses shop, and Bruno saw these Chopard sunglasses, and there was one, it said one over 200, so there was one, this was one pair of 200 made. They were just a one-off, they are beautiful. I kept them in the safe for a really, really long time. They've got the little stones. They say Chopard on them. Obviously, you probably wouldn't buy someone these in their Christmas stocking. I mean, I think that was seven and a half years ago. So they probably would be worth more now. I'm hoping, so I might actually have to put them back in the safe because they were there. But because they've worn, the, the cream colours picked up dirt and bits of clothing and bags so I'm a bit upset about that I did I do look after all my stuff really really well they're just beautiful so I probably didn't put them back in the safe because I thought well but I think I'm gonna put them back in the safe I don't know why they're in a Chanel box not a show pod so I'll put those in the safe oh Fendi this is a pair that a lot of people would wear I don't I've worn them when I had my dark hair Dark hair people would probably look really nice in these. Look at those, big old Fendi, big old Fendi on the side. I like them. They're a bit like the Gucci black ones with the blue sparkle. That sort of dark in the winter. It's getting dark out there now. So I think they'd be quite cool with a, a nice autumn coloured bub bubble hat or cream or something and a scarf. They're really cool on a crisp day, not a day like today where it might snow really sort of cloudy but cold they're really nice aren't they so they aren't very expensive I think some Fendi ones are now these weren't but I think they've kind of gone gone up a lot more lately Fendi seem to be in thing a little uh, camera bag that everybody wants there's one pair left ah uh, the <laughs> they're really clean actually these are the ones I wear in the swimming pool in the sun because they're smaller so that I don't get too big a stripe on my eyes. I never sunbathe with nothing, so it's so bad for your eyelids. If you shut your eyes and sunbathe, your eyelid is one layer of skin. It's got no melanin in it, so it won't protect. So you're basically lying staring at the sun with your eye open. You're gonna get cataracts, and it's so good to always have a lens, a really good lens, on your eye. So I sunbathe in these on holiday, and I'm probably one of hardly anyone that sat there with my sunglasses on sunbathing, but. I don't want to be blind. So look how these are. Everyone's had a pair of Ray-Bans. I don't know where my other ones are. I had loads of the cheap Ray-Bans, but they seem to have vanished from this box. But these are the white little ones with the blue. I love them. I think they're just, they're so cute. But because I wear them in the swimming pool and I've cleaned them, they sometimes were falling off my nose. <laughs> Holiday vibes. Oh, that you could buy these for anybody. I think you can get them in every frame colour. I think they'll be a really good Christmas stocking. Present, major, present, whatever. Um, so if I'm going to oh, I'll put those in the safe. So now I'm just going to show you a couple more accessories. Oh, oh man. Okay, let's try and get them over here. Oh, you don't need to see my bottom. I just don't want to keep pausing the video. Okay, scarfies scarves just to show you because they're nice stocking fillers obviously some of them are more expensive the Burberry I think anyone who's anyone who loves fashion and can afford a little bit will have a Burberry scarf it's a staple scarf it, it is lovely it goes with brown coats black coats I probably won't wear it on my Holland Cooper coat because I think different tartan it's got red in it but I think it'd be a bit much but I love my Burberry scarf and I just think scarves, when you go in a restaurant and you take your coat off, you can still keep your scarf on and you just feel that little bit cosier. And then you can just wear a cheap outfit, black, put your scarf on and it just looks just a little 
little bit more stylish. And I must keep folding them because I keep getting creases on them. Burberry. Lots of people have this one as well. The Gucci. The Gucci with the brown on the one side, dark brown on the other, so beige and brown. That's um that's a very common one if you don't want to be common. I suppose you wouldn't get it, but I quite like the Fendi one, but I think that's common now. And I've also got it. I bought these myself a lot of them because I'd save or if I've got a little bit of money I'd go and buy one. The Gucci black and grey. So black coats, brown coats, you covered everything on there. And the black one goes nice on colour coats, the brown one goes nice on cream coats. I must get them out because I've not been wearing them. Fold them up. And then this. Now this is more, this is a Louis Vuitton. It's more of a pashmina I think. So it's got a blue, a blue but then the other side of it, I can't see it. It's got the silvery grey, but it's massive. It's a massive, massive square. And I, oh, that's half of it. I often wear it folded in a diamond shape. And you can wear it over a coat, like I did on the coat thing, tucked into a belt hanging over the coat, inside the coat, wrapped around the neck, and that, that is beautiful. It's got all the thread in. You just have to be really careful not to catch the thread in. I don't think that would probably be a stocking filler. It could be a main present. I think it was a main present for me one year. This I bought myself. There was a girl that Bruno worked with and we went to Henley Regatta, and she was there and it was a bit chilly in the June. She had a lovely dress on and then she had this pashmina. I was like, that, that's, it was black, this is brown. Oh, that's really beautiful. She said, I asked my husband to get me a pashmina scarf. And he went off to work and he came back with this, a Louis Vuitton scarf. I'm like, you asked for a pashmina scarf? She said, I wanted one from our Spencer's for like 50 quid. So anyway, I sought and sought and sought. They'd sold it everywhere. I found a brownie one on eBay and bid on it and won it. And it's basically cashmere with holes, Louis. Vuitton but because it's so beautiful and it's not in your face it's like a wrap and it's warm and it's a good fun holiday on an aeroplane and then in the evenings when it's a bit chilly you just wrap yourself up in it oh just I forget I've got it but I bid on it and then I realized I didn't have enough money and she it was one of those bid see if they accept it and she accepted it and I went ah so then you've got to pay for it poor Bruno He's like, this is ridiculous, you keep doing this. I was like, I don't know why I did that. But I got it really bargain. I think they were about 800 when they were sold and I got it for 300 or something. So I was really chuffed with myself, just didn't have any money. Story of my life. I bought this, <laughs> he haven't worn it much. Uh, it's a Gucci headband. But it, I bought it to wear on holiday, but it's too nice to put on in a swimming pool because I don't exactly just sit in a swimming pool and pose. I'm drinking, dancing, whatever. I think I have worn it a few times. It's beautiful. You can't really see it. You can't really. It's got the Gucci in it. If I had the right face and head, I'd probably wear it a lot more, but I just don't think my face needs to draw attention on my forehead. <laughs> but that's an accessory. I think you get the plain ones, the Gucci logos. I didn't really want the G's all over my forehead, but I just wanted something pretty. But I've not worn it out. I'm not brave enough. And the last thing, I love this. Got this one birthday. I know I'd like the Holland Cooper one of these, which is a lot bigger, but I sprayed this because I haven't washed it. It's a Gucci little scarf that when you're wearing really nice, no sleeve things or off the shoulder, just tighten a little knot and wear it. Bruno says I look like an air stewardess, which I wouldn't mind being. <laughs> Be quite nice, not the minute though, poor things got much work going on but I love that look and I think again nice necklace you're just having one piece that just makes your outfit look that little bit more expensive more classy more pulled together but obviously it's got blue and red in I keep it in this, this little Gucci box because I haven't washed it so everything's in there little boxes except the scarves I need to put those away and the belts are so I hope that was some help and I hope it didn't just ramble a load of rubbish and I hope the camera picked it up, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> so I'll try and uh, stick this together quickly, 
get it onto YouTube for tomorrow afternoon because it's just something nice to have if you fancy sitting and watching and and then if you could press subscribe for me and a thumbs up would be good because then I'm trying, I'm trying really hard um, and just don't view on this spot. I've had one for four weeks. Going to the pub tonight. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next vlog, vlogmas next week. Hope you enjoyed watching. See you. Bye.